I guess when people are sort of working towards an event and, you know, whether that's a, a marathon or whether it's a, a weightlifting event or even, you know, a really high level sporting event, you want to try and time your run so that you, when that event comes, you're at your peak in terms of your, your preparation, um, in terms of your conditioning. It can be very easy to get into the mindset of just working as hard as you can every single session, thrashing the body. Um, and you can get into a bit of um, overtraining. So when you are overtraining, you're doing too much of the same thing too often, too frequently, intensity is too high, um, and you're not allowing enough recovery between each of your sessions, or you're not maximizing your recovery window, um, you can easily burn yourself out. So the periodization is, say you're eight weeks out from a major event, your week one through to week eight, you'll gradually start stepping up the intensities as you go throughout those eight weeks. Um, and then you'll have a little bit of what's called taper time at the end. So if, you're, um, if your event is in eight weeks time, you'd probably train really physically hard for seven and a half weeks. And then you'd have your two to three days of, um, I guess your really lower intensity and just keeping the body turning over, but not pushing it through to its limits. Um, so yeah, if you're starting week one, you're starting off with, if we talk about work to rest ratios, you might start off with 20 seconds of work on an exercise and then have 10 seconds rest. Week two, you might go to 25 seconds of work with 10 seconds rest. Week three, you might go to 30 seconds with 10 seconds of rest. So you're increasing your work time or you're increasing your time under intensity. But in that case, you're keeping the rest period the same. 